by using this method you can discover your true power and unleash your true potential by exploring the hidden depths of your mind and soul all those emotions and traits that are deemed as bad or immoral by society which are frowned up by our family and peers which when initially expressed were ridiculed shunned or met with punishments we tend to suppress them and hide them beneath our subconscious in order to adapt with the social world and these are called our shadows but when we don't face our shadows they bubble up to the surface as projections by which our shadows actively influence and affect our personality in a myriad of unforeseen ways all these so called faults what you call negative traits suppressed emotions these are your greatest assets they are simply over amplified by doing shadow work you just turn down the volume a little bit then soon you and everyone else around you will see those weaknesses of yours as your most unique greatest strengths your unconscious have the wisdom of eternity collective unconscious is a part of our subconscious mind which is derived from the ancestral memory and experience we have deep in ourselves and is common to all human kind and it is distinct from our in Visual unconscious. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of my favorite anime that revolves around a world of powerful sorcerers who fight demons and curses. In the manga, cursed emotions are referred to negative feelings, emotions, and desires that can manifest as powerful curses and demons. As these curses can be dangerous and difficult to control, as they are fueled up by our own negative emotions, which are difficult to control. Therefore, a sorcerer must learn to manage their own negative emotions to prevent them from turning into curses. But by training, they also learn to use these. curse and energy to discover their true potential and unleash their true power but in the anime characters uses a powerful technique called domain expansion to create a personalized and powerful space within which they have complete control a personal realm to unleash incredible power and unleash their full potential of their curse and energy now there are three stages we should go through to master this technique before that active imagination is developed by Carl Jung between 1913 and 1916 to get in touch with our subconscious mind by actively engaging with the contents of our imagination however even before the advent of jungian psychology this technique was present among the tribes and people of over 100 of years even in tantrics and sufism they took it as a gateway to the realm of divine during the process the person translates the contents of their dream or unconscious image without adding any analysis from the conscious mind by going through this process of active imagination these images become less vivid and allows the contents of unconscious mind to healthily integrate with our conscious mind so before before beginning our shadow work we must do some preparation turn off your phone and all other distractions put some comfortable clothes take a journal a pen pencil and some crayons near it sit at your favorite and comfortable place in your room i prefer slightly dark atmosphere without any bright lights but you can light some candles and turn some soft music to relax yourself and to create that seductive ambience now when you are ready sit back and relax close your eyes and take a long deep breath feel the sensation of air entering through the tip of your nose then exhale take five more long deep breaths with each breath you are relaxing and quieting your mind now imagine yourself walking into an elevator and closing the door now press one of the button and go down to the seventh floor imagine you are going deeper into your subconscious mind when your elevator door is open you see your domain it can be dark dingy everything that frightens you everything that repels you a place where your shadow lives look around what all you see how do you feel what do you hear how does it smell don't edit or consciously try to paint or decipher meaning from anything just see it observe it as you are in a dream now slowly open your eyes and draw what you saw how your domain space looked like write about it describe it write down all the contents without filling in a gap or explaining any incongruities or adding any conscious analyzing the goal of this process is understand the working of your subconscious mind in stage 2 we repeat the previous steps take six long deep breaths go inside the elevator deep down to your shadow domain this time you are already familiar with your domain you can continue where you stopped now move to the corner in this moment an aspect of yourself will come into your subconscious mind he or she may be everything that repels you may be everything that you don't want to become everything that you are afraid of becoming may be an embodiment of all your suppressed desires and emotions whatever form come into your mind don't try to edit or analyze it try to sense and see everything about that part of you how you look how you feel how you smell now some people allow a word that describe that 
that person you are saying to come into your mind some analysts are against this but the idea is never force it if it comes carry it after you have visited and experienced that person long enough you can open your eyes now write down everything that you experience about that person write for at least 10 minutes if you receive a word or name write it draw that person but never try to consciously add or decipher any meaning from it just experience it in this stage we are going to communicate with our shadow and see the true gift our shadow has to offer repeat the previous step relax yourself close your eyes and take six long deep breaths imagine yourself going into that elevator deep down into your domain once you reach your domain go to that corner and there meet your shadow you can ask what you want to know listen what it is telling never try to force your shadow not try to analyze or decipher any meaning even if you feel like what it is telling is vague or incongruent just observe just feel just listen as you master it you will learn different aspects of your shadow you will learn more about your shadow you can ask what is the reason what is your gift to me what was i repressing what do you need me to do to integrate you to my psyche is there anything else you want to say to me now write down your whole experience in your shadow journal now if you want to learn the most powerful technique that radically changed the course of my life watch this video